Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Compliments of the season. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday um, this Christmas period. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to project um, any mesh or any design onto any geometry you have. Um, so that's what we'll be doing today. So let's get started. <music> I, I was just in the process of modeling um, this crowning for that's a nice design that we'll probably that we want to use to kind of project onto this mesh. Um, so basically I have a curve and I've added some depth and now with mirror symmetry turned on now it can allow me to duplicate this and just create nice fun shapes. Anyway so once you're happy with the shape um, you can go ahead and convert this to a mesh. So I'm going to go to convert mesh. So this is now a mesh and this is what we want to project. So first of all, you want you you need to have um, the main object you're going to project and we already have that now. Um, secondly, you need to have like a target object and the target object is going to be a flat plane to kind of match the, the flatness of the asset which we are trying to project. So this is the target object and the makeup of it it's just um, a plane subdivided several times so the density of this doesn't really matter because this is just like a helper geometry and we can delete it when we're done with it um so we just needed to have enough details to be able to trans um to be able to work perfectly but what we want to do now is go ahead and select the surface deform and for the target we want to click on this plane and click on bind and also, we still since we have this selected, we want to just select the plane and hit Ctrl P, and we want to parent it to the plane. So now, if we move the plane, we can see it. Um, the stuff moves along. Um, finally, we can go ahead and add a shrink wrap modifier. Let's scale this down a bit and project it onto the sphere. So when you have it looking like this, basically what you want to do is selecting this plane, which we could just um, set this as if set the visual representation to a bound. Okay, so we have it like this. So we want to increase the offset. And now we can adjust this and just put it in place. So that's it. Um, you can add multiple so let's add something else let's add a nice cube and so for that you want to turn off this um you want to turn off the shrink wrap modifier to re reset everything you want to place the cube close to it and since this has little geometry we want to add a subdivision and set this to simple increase the viewport to something higher so this is what we're going to preview. Okay. And now repeat same thing we're going to use. So make sure they, they both have the same levels. Um, if it, if this is three, this has to be three. Um, so finally we can add the simple deform and select this. Oh, sorry. We will select <laughs> not the simple deform. So we'll add the surface deform and select this plane and bind it. Now we can reproject it. So we can always, we can switch this to local, normal or local, and what we do, and just put it into place. And you can see it comes nicely. So that's basically it. Um, you do with this information what you place. I'm pretty sure this is quite is going to be helpful. It's actually going to be definitely helpful for me because I kind of figured it out today. And uh, I'm just going to play around with it some more. Um, so yeah, I hope this was fun for you guys. Um, compliment of the season. Um, so bye bye for now. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it.